hello everyone this is Satya Prakash welcome to my channel in this video I'll show you how to convert a long URL or website address to short URL using angular custom pipe so guys there are a few steps uh, I'll discuss in this video uh, before that I will suggest to you before going to this video please visit my one relevant video to this video that is uh, part 15 get data from json file in angular and bootstrap so you will get this video in my playlist called angular application so this video is relevant to this current uh, videos so please go through that so guys in this video we have few points that is create a custom pipe in angular and implement custom pipe to convert long url to short url so guys here uh, i have one command to create a uh, pipe okay so for that i need to go to my vs code angular application so this is the terminal and uh, in this terminal window i need to execute one command okay so this command it will be used to uh, it will use the angular cli to generate custom url shortener pipe inside the pipes folder so guys there are few steps i have also mentioned here that is step one is we need to create a pipe that shortens the long url or link so this is the command so i copy this command ng g p for pi p pipes under pipes folder there is one short url ts file will be created so this is the command i'll copy this go to my vs code and here i need to execute once you execute this it will create these files under this pipe folder inside src there is a app and inside app there is one folder will be created called pipes and inside pipes you will get these two files that is short hyphen url dot pipe dot ts and short hyphen url dot pipe dot spec dot ts so this it is this is the important file uh, short hyphen url dot pipe dot ts file so here whatever logic we need to define here to convert the long url to short url okay so this is step one step two is uh, after creating this file we need to add the uh, code so guys here what i will i will do is i open my vs code and I open this file sort hyphen url dot pipe dot ts so this is the code and uh, this is the import statement that is pipe and pipe transform okay here pipe transform nothing but it is an interface okay i uh, put my mouse on this and uh, you can see this pop-up is showing details about the pipe transform and this pipe uh, you can see here decorator okay so this is used to use the name as sort url and this export class implement the pipe transform interface and inside i have uh, written the logic using transform method okay so this is the uh, logic where this application will convert the long url to short url okay so so guys here the url string type and arguments you have this type is any and if url is there and it will uh, get the url length and if length is greater than 30 only certain if greater than 30 and change value 21 and 9 as for requirements so return url and substring you have used here right you can see and there is some uh, properties as well gets a substring beginning at, at the specified location having a specified length so these are the uh, details on it using this method we have passed some values plus uh, if the there is long url it will be showing some part of url and put some dot 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 and then it will be again it will substring a method we have used it returns the substring at the specified location with the string object so you'll get the details on the mouse over the in pop-up and there it will uh, minus the length whatever get and the length value we have passed here after then it will return the url and uh, and return the url so this is all about the code in the short hyphen url dot pipe dot ts okay this is all about the code so guys here we will discuss about the uh, step two here and step three is we need to import the custom domain pipe in app dot model dot ts file so here I'll open the app.model.ts file so this one is available here uh, yeah this one 
and here guys you just noticed that import our custom domain pipe in app.model.ts file and I will add, add it to the declaration array so this is the sort URL we need to import and this one we need to use in our declarations array okay that is nothing but this one so you need to note one thing do this if you don't use the angular CLI to generate the sort URL pipe otherwise the import should already be there as the angular CLI does it for you so this is the only node section so this is about the uh, step 3 and step 4 is we need to up, update the app.component.html file so guys here I'll go to my app.component.html file you just remember that while I use the JSON file and get the data from JSON in my previous video uh, so you'll notice all these things are similar but only the link part users.source I did not use any pipe symbol here okay that is nothing but the pipe we have used so here it only this line is important because we have get the uh, uh, long URL and convert to short URL so it will get it will retrieve the URL and this line it will convert the long URL to short URL so this is the pipe symbol we have used if you use any uh, custom pipe in angular and after then we need to put our name file in the creating our pipe that is the ts file sort url so where this file, uh, name is coming this name is coming from here because in sort hyphen url dot pipe dot ts we have mentioned the pipe decorator here the name are sort url so to use this feature or use this uh, uh, use this uh, functionality we need to use in this pipe in our app.component.html file that is nothing but this one okay so so guys the custom pipe called the sort url is implemented in source column like this one so this is all about the code in app.component.html file this, this is the header part and it will be using ng4 will get all the records from json and we are uh, convert the long URL to short URL. So this is all about the code in app.component.html file. So this is about the step four. And step five is we need to add Bootstrap CSS path in Angular .json file. So guys, if you not have installed or enable your Bootstrap in your uh, project, so there is one command called npm install uh, bootstrap okay and dash dash save so this command will install the bootstrap features in your application so guys here it is used to enable the styling after install the latest version of bootstrap in angular so after installing the angular uh, after installing the bootstrap for your angular application how to check whether it is installed or not appropriately so this step 5 it will show that is the bootstrap path in angular.json file so guys here the one file is called angular.json okay and in angular.json if you just scroll down inside root and there is one architect build and there is one section called styles and scripts so in styles you have noticed uh, we have mentioned the path where our bootstrap is installed this is for CSS and inside the scripts for uh, section we have mentioned the path of our bootstrap installed that is bootstrap.min.js file so these two files we need to mention the path in two sections of angular.json file so this is all about the part 5 so part 6 is we need to add bootstrap cdn in index.html to make a responsive design so guys here if you not install your bootstrap css manually in your application and uh, you need to use the cdn so what you will do you can use any alternative so for that i need to go here add bootstrap cdn in index.html to make a responsive design so here there is one file called index.html and in the index.html we need to add this path cdn path one is for bootstrap.min.css 
and one is for bootstrap.bundle.min.gss so this cdn files is alternative to the installing the bootstrap make sure while you use the cdn of the bootstrap you need to connect your internet first because these are the remote urls and so this is about the step six so then uh, last is output how to check the output so guys we need to check the output there is one command okay as you know already you discussed many times in my videos that is ng serve hyphen o and click enter so guys here you can see my angular app, uh, application compiled successfully and it will open this brow link in our browser so this is the output and here you notice one thing that is we can see the result under employee url section that custom pipe shortens the a long url or link so you just remember in my previous video that is part 15 in this video you will see the output this url section is too big it okay and you will see the changes in this section that is that this url long url is converted to the short url here okay so as for the our logic in the uh, uh, this file that is uh, short hyphen url dot pipe dot ts okay now we can see this output as well okay this is the output so this uh, this methodology that is the url showing that is short url so this is logic is implementing like this return url and up to this mark it is showing one section right uh, up to this okay and then there is three dot and we'll see this three dot as well right here after this three dot and then there is one more section is concatenated that is url substring length minus nine comma length so what is the remaining part it is showing uh, like this okay this one so uh, in this way we can uh, convert the long url to short url or url shortener you can use that use that term as well how to do in our angular application so this is very beneficial uh, in your real time projects or real time scenarios many times custom uh, uh, clients are demanding to uh, uh, to make make our the url to long to short url so if you click on this url also you'll get this uh, um, same result as well after convert the long to short url okay and that will vary uh, uh making design and responsive as well so we'll check here how bootstrap works so click on inspect okay and while you click uh, inspect you'll get some devices and there is iphone sc and iphone xr and there is the other devices as well we are checking and this one okay so in this way uh, we can check and check in the responsive part of our angular application after bootstrap implementation so next i will go to my presentation so guys know about the pipe in angular so these pipes are the best way to transform the appearance of elements in the template so there are built-in pipes like dead pipes currency pipes number pipes in angular but if the pipes did not uh, or cannot fulfill the requirements then we can build our own pipe in angular is called custom pipes in angular so guys that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day